Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test Tech, I'm Josh. Today we're gonna to be showing you all about charging your batteries. Now whenever you're charging a LiPo battery, it's incredibly important that you do so properly and also that you put the right settings in your charger. Today we're gonna to be showing you the safest and proper way to be able to charge your battery, but one thing to always keep in mind, never leave your batteries unintended, never leave your batteries around flammable objects, and always make sure that you inspect the condition of your batteries before you charge them. If the batteries don't look right, they're brown, they're puffy, they're punctured, don't ever charge them. One thing I'd also recommend is use something like a LiPo bag or what we carry in our store called the Bat Safe. Now both LiPo bags and Bat Safes are something that are sold separately, but the cool thing is, is you can get different size LiPo bags and different size Bat Safes depending on the size battery you want to charge or how many batteries you want to store. Today we're going to be going through a classic battery charger that's incredibly easy to use and this format really is kind of consistent through many of the other battery chargers. As I walk you through charging the batteries, I'm going to point out some really important key information that you want to make sure you check before charging your battery. Let's go and get started. So here we have the IMAX B6 Pro. This is a metal case battery charger that can go anywhere from one cell all the way up to six cell. Now the really cool thing about this kit here that's sold on our store is we have a variety of different connectors. We have Dean's connectors, JST connectors. We even have some old school connectors that you're probably not gonna need. But keep in mind, if you're out in the field and you wanna be able to charge from your car battery in your car, we even include some alligator clips and a battery charger for that. Let's go ahead and plug in our battery charger and we'll talk through the most. On the side here, you're gonna see DC input 11 to 18 volts. We're just gonna plug this in and it's gonna power on. On the other end, we're gonna locate our power output that goes to a Dean's connector. And we can plug that in black to black and red to red. Now, because our batteries that we sell use either XT60 or XT30 or XT90, we're gonna go ahead and plug this adapter that we include. Now, if you're using an XT30 or an XT90, we have battery adapters that you can buy from our store, or we sell an all-in-one pigtail that is incredibly useful that you can plug right into this battery charger. Our next step here is to take our battery, and we're first gonna go ahead and we're gonna talk about our settings here. As you can see, when we go to battery type, if we press down this battery type, we can go through LiPo battery, nickel metal hydride, PB, save data, load data, and then finally we're back at the beginning. We're gonna go to LiPo battery, and we're gonna hit enter. From this point on, we can go forward or backwards, but I want you to take careful notice of what it says here, LiPo charge, LiPo balance. Anytime that we're charging our batteries, you always want to select LiPo balance. And the reason is, if one of your cells are unhealthy or one of your cells are overcharged or you accidentally put your voltage too high or too low, this mode is going to detect that. Now, it will not work unless you have your balance lead plugged in, so you want to make sure that you plug it into the proper port. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug in my battery just like that. And I'm gonna take my balance lead to the side and I'm gonna select the balance lead that lines up with it. Again, we go from two cell all the way up to six cell on our balance lead. There we go. At this point, we'd be putting our battery in either a LiPo bag or in one of our bat safes. Now at this point here, you're gonna see that we have a couple different options. I'm gonna press start. Now that I've selected balance mode, I'm gonna press start we can select our amperage at what we charge with. Now, a lot of people may think, oh, more amps, faster charge, everything is good. Batteries typically like to be charged between one and two C ratings. And the easiest way to figure out what your C rating is, you take the total capacity and then you move your decimal points over three spaces. So in this case, I have a 3300. I'm gonna move my decimal point from the very end, one, two, three. My one C charge rate would be 3.3 amps. Now, you can go up higher on some batteries, but what I'd recommend is stick around one C. 1C is gonna give you the nicest, most gentle charge for your battery. It's gonna make it last longer. You're gonna have the battery charged if you take it down to 20% in about 40 minutes. If you do need to put more, never go beyond 2C. And always, again, make sure that you have your battery in a battery safe or a battery bag. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I've selected to 3.3 uh, amps. Again, that's a 1C rating, moving that decimal point over three spaces. I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. Now it's gonna give me the option of being able to charge at different rates. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and select how many cells are in my battery. Now you can see right now it's set to four cells. I'm gonna go ahead and hit decrease until I see three cell because this is a three cell battery. At that point, I can hit start one more time. A long press at this point, once it's locked in, is gonna initiate the charge sequence. Now at this point, it's actually checking the cell count, it's checking to make sure everything's hooked up properly and it's giving you an okay. We're gonna press it one more time to confirm and at this point, it's now gonna start charging the batteries. We can see here that this battery is actually almost fully charged, it's at 12.48 volts. If I hit the increase or decrease where it says status here, 
You're gonna see it actually gives me an individual monitor of each of my battery cell voltages. And this is really important to be able to see because what you wanna see is you wanna see a three cell battery giving you three reference voltages. This is incredibly important for the safety of your battery, for the longevity of your battery, and to make sure everything's balancing out. But the nice thing is if you select the balance feature on this, your battery charger is also doing this for you. Now let's go ahead and if we want to stop this suddenly, we'll hit the stop button. You can see we're back at our main screen. Let's go ahead and goof this up here and show you how this actually protects you and helps you. I'm going to go over. I'm going to hit my start to start the sequence again. I'm going to hit start to go over to the voltage. And now let's do something that would definitely cause the battery to be damaged, if not explode. Let's go ahead and go to four cell. This is a three cell battery. It's gonna try to bring this voltage all the way up to 16.8 volts, which is gonna cause a catastrophic failure in your battery. I'm gonna go ahead and do a long press. Just checking it. Now watch. Battery voltage error cell connection. It's telling you, you have a problem because I'm reading only three cells and you are telling me it's a four cell battery and it's stopping the process. It's incredibly important at that point, you hit stop, you go back and you look at the condition of your battery or you check and make sure you have your cell count right. Let's go ahead and go down. We'll hit start again, go back in here, we'll go to our cell count and we'll go down to two cell. One long press. Over voltage. At this point, it's saying, wait a minute, you're telling me you should only be going up to 8.4 volts, but I'm already reading 12 volts. This is a problem, I'm not gonna work for you. You hit the stop, you're back in. Friends, if you follow along with this battery charger, whether it's the B6 Pro, whether it's many others that have the similar setup, you're gonna be able to safely and properly charge your batteries every time. Thanks so much for being part of the Flight This Family. Thanks for taking this time with me going through this charger, and we'll see you next time.